Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? Manny Antonelli here. Today we're talking about the importance of writing things down, the importance of taking notes. Before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Super Speed Slugger. Uh, we use Super Speed Slugger's overload, underload training bats with all of our Antonelli baseball teams. We've had a ton of success with them so far. So go in the description box below. If you click the link there, it's going to take you over to their site and you can check them out. Okay, so this is a subject that um, I really, really take seriously because I've been taking notes and writing things down for probably the last, let's see, I'm 33 years old. I've been doing it pretty much ever since college. College is where I kind of started to do it. And then as I got older, the older I get, the more notes I take. Maybe because my memory is getting worse as I get older, but it's so super important. Um, and I've had a lot of success uh, being able to accumulate a bunch of information that I would have otherwise probably never ever remember. I know I would have never remembered it because there's just so much of it. And what I do is I just make sure that I always, always have something on me where I can take notes. What I use a lot nowadays is actually just my iPhone. So in my, if you go on my phone, if you go on my notes section, there's going to be a bunch of different uh, topics in there. And anytime something comes up, whether I'm reading something, I'm watching something, I'm listening to something on the radio, I'm having a conversation with someone and they say something. Um, if it's something that I, man, I, I, I got to remember that. I don't ever rely on my, on my brain, on my memory. I always write it down. And I make sure to put it in the, the list that I want, that I need, so that down the road, if I, oh man, what were we talking about again when we were talking about hitting? We might go right into my notes section into hitting, and I can find it really, really easily. So really, really important. A lot of the things that you see me talk about in my videos, the hitting videos, fielding videos, all this stuff, people always say, you know, how do, how do, you, how do you remember all this stuff? How did you learn all this stuff? Where did you get it from? Well, what it is, is it's literally just over years and years and years, of dealing with different coaches, uh, giving lessons, coaching teams, uh, whatever it is, anytime something happens, I write it down. So all the way back, if we talk about when I, when I was with the Padres or even earlier with college, but when I got with the Padres, that's when I really started to take a lot of notes because I was, I was working with a lot of really, really good coaches, some of the best coaches in the world. I was playing with and against some of the best players in the world. And so for instance, you know, if we were out in the batting cage, right? So say I'm out early hitting and hitting with me or next to me is Adrian Gonzalez, somebody that's been in the big leagues for a super long time, had an amazing career. You know, maybe he's working on a drill or maybe he says something when he's going through his workout and I'm like, hmm, that's really interesting. I'd make sure I'd go right back and I'd write it down. You know, Adrian was doing this drill. He said this, he was working on this. And then after just day after day after day after week after month after year of collecting all this stuff and having all these notes you just start to you just start to learn new things when it comes to hitting you start to piece it all together now that i'm a coach i can come up with my own philosophy so when i talk with the team you know i've gone through all these notes over all the years and started to piece it together what did i like Maybe, oh that one you know you know what this one doesn't really work anymore i'm gonna cross that out i'm gonna move that over here oh i really like this one or maybe i'll build upon that one so it's just a really really good way to do things never rely on your memory if you're gonna go in anytime you go in what we tell our players is that they should have a notebook right or you can just use your phone although sometimes if you have them right on their phone they could be you know playing fortnite on there or something uh, but if you can get a book, right, and dedicate that book to your baseball season or just your note taking in general and just have different chapters, you should go home after practice, after you work out, after a lesson, after a bullpen, after a hitting, whatever, and just write down some stuff. How do you feel, right? Do you feel really locked in? If you're a hitter and you feel great at the plate, write down how are you feeling? What are you thinking about? What do you, you know, what do you, what do you feel like you're doing well? So that you can come back to that later on and be like, hmm, you know, when I was feeling really good, this is what I was thinking. This is what I was, you know, doing. Coach says something. Oh man, that's, that's really good. You're going to forget about it in a month down the road. You might forget about it the next day. Write it down so you can come back to it. All right. I'm a, I'm a huge sports fan. I follow tons of different sports, but football is a sport that I really love. And I love quarterbacks. I love reading up on Brady and Manning and all these great players. And one thing you'll hear when you, when you listen to people talk about them is that they were amazing note takers. Tom Brady, they say every week, he fills, it, he fills a notebook 
on everything about the other team, right? The way they play certain plays, the way, you know, everything, right? Just every little detail he's got in this notebook. And so he's filling that thing in all week long. He's able, you know, on Monday or after the game on Sunday, when he starts taking notes on the other team, by Friday, if he was just going by memory, he'd forget a lot of stuff. But now before the game, he's able to go back, reference things, and really get it locked in, okay? So it's it's so important to do. Make sure you're taking advantage of that. Always carry around a notebook or at least have your phone on you and make sure to write it down. Don't just rely on your memory. Hope that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. Um, and that's all we got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.